everybody how's it going so i asked my instagram followers what fragrance would be a total turn off for you if you smelled it on your date and these are the answers so i'm gonna try to specify if it's coming from a guy or a girl but some of these profile pictures are faceless or they're super far away from the actual picture so i cannot tell we're gonna do our best all right this girl here says axe anything Another girl says, YSL Black Opium. I know it's a fragrance loved by a lot, but I don't like it. Understandable. Another girl here says, Chanel number no. five, because it reminded me of my mom. I understand that as well. If I should, uh, yes, yeah, Chanel number no. five, or even to be honest, every Chanel fragrance in the standard line, I would not want to smell on my girl just because it's, it's very mature in my opinion. I don't really find them to be very attractive. Okay, another girl here says, I can't handle Sauvage. We got Carolina Herrera. Um, this guy says Tom Ford Noir de Noir. Sylvia says One Million. Henry, no, yeah, Henry says Nazamato China White. I actually haven't tried that brand before. Amanda says Versace Eros. Aaliyah says Sauvage, reminds me of my ex. And then right next to that is another Sauvage. I am, <laughs> okay, another Sauvage. And then Anthony says, 90% of the of the Clinique line for women. Okay, Josh says, might be a little off topic, but definitely dislike Dolce Gabbana light blue. All right. This girl says polo green. Another girl says one million would like a bunch of explanation points. Caesar says when a girl smells spicy, I don't know, sharp spice. This girl said Lamal, and she also can't stand Dolce Gabbana the one. We got Santal 33 or anything with cardamom. And this guy says, Chanel number no. five, Miss Dior, <laughs> Daisy, Coco, Mademoiselle, Ch Chance, any of the old lady scented perfumes. I don't know if it feels like deja vu. I think I just said something similar to that, but I agree with that. I, I don't really find those to be uh, alluring. Okay, we got Mugler Angel with a throw up emoji. I stand with that one. We also have Hyrax by Zoologist. Yeah, that's shit. If your date pulled up smelling like Hyrax, <sighs> that thing smells like a carcass, in my opinion. I, I don't find it wearable at all. It's definitely more of an artistic type of fragrance. Okay, this guy says Montal Arabian Tonka. Angela says Aqua de Joe triggers my fight or flight. Mostly just makes me want to fight, all right? <laughs> okay. This guy says Gucci Bloom, smells like an old aunt. Feel that. Zach says Versace Eros. I, I refuse to believe people actually like this stuff. I like Versace Eros. Um, I don't wear it, but then it's, it's decent. I like it. Okay, Janie says overpowering vanilla. We got Lilabo, Santal immediately. Got Ultra Male by Jean-Paul Gaultier with a bunch of throw up emojis from a girl. Uh, this other girl, no, it's a guy. This guy says cheap perfume, Victoria's Secret, and stuff like that. Another guy right next to him says Victoria's Secrets, uh, Strawberry and Champagne, Love Spell, anything by them. Kevin um, says Narciso Rodriguez for her. Jador are so basic. Libre is too powdery, and Scandal is too sickly sweet. Another girl says Axe. Uh, we got another person saying Bath and Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar. Um, let's see, and this girl says, anything my dad wears, love him, but don't want to smell his cologne on my date. Very understandable. I don't think anybody would want to smell a fragrance either their parents wear on their date at all. Um, and we've got Dior Sauvage with more throw-up emojis. And they also said overused shower gel. And the last one is <laughs> Amber Oud, and that was sent in by Dacoby. So the most popular ones here that I saw were, you know, Victoria's Secret for the feminine ones and the Sh the Chanel ones, um, Dior Sauvage for the masculine ones, and there's a couple one millions there as well. But of course, everybody, like, if you saw or heard your fragrance in this list, just wear what you want, okay? If it makes you happy, continue to wear it. But yeah, I, for the most part, the the more popular ones, I agree with. I'm not really too crazy about those, and you don't really see me recommend them that much in the first place. But anyways, let me know what would be, like, the fragrance that would be a total turnoff if you smelled it on your date. All right, so anyways, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.